I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't been staring it down for a while, actually. Um, you know, I kind of just take all accomplishments as they come. And, um, you know, anytime I'm in a breath with any other greats, and obviously, you know, MJ being the, the guy that I looked up to my whole life, um, the guy I admired to be when I was a kid, and, and just, uh, um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I, I don't know how I'll react in the moment, obviously, um, but, um, you know, I think at some point I'll be able to appreciate it, um, just knowing where I come from, uh, you know, and, and, and knowing that it's so much, you know, bigger than just me. Um, so many other kids look up to me for inspiration, and when I was a kid their age, I needed inspiration, and MJ was that inspiration for me along with some other people, so. Um, sometimes I have no idea how I'm, out, I'm even in this position to be able to sit here and play the game that I love, play at a higher level, and be linked with uh, some of the greatest that ever played this game, and obviously MJ being you know, out of this world, so uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty unique. As you said, it's hard to kind of plan for in the moment. Do you, do you feel like you appreciate these accomplishments maybe like after games or when you're hanging out with friends or family, like when it comes up? No, I, no to be honest, um, I haven't really appreciated anything that I've been able to accomplish, you know, um, because I'm, I'm so uh, engulfed in on, on what's next, how, how I can continue to get better, how I can help this franchise get back to where it needs to be. Um, um, how can I continue to, you know, be a, you know, a better leader and, uh, and, and and all those things? So it's it's just too hard for me, you know, while I'm engulfed in it all and throughout my journey to be able to appreciate anything that I've done. Um, but like I said, when you guys ask me questions about it, I'm able to, um, I, I guess, just sit back and, and I guess um, just give praise to the guys who laid the path before me and and, uh, and just be very, I guess. In, in awe of anything I've been able to do so far. What do you think of the job Luke's done, at least in terms of uh, how tough this has been a stretch for you guys as he tried to stay on point and, and remain positive? I mean, just the, the uncertainty of, uh, you know, what our injuries have just taken a toll on our team. Um, the kind of, One thing that's been consistent is our, is our voice of our head coach. Um, you know, throughout all the injuries, he's been the one that's remained the same and, uh, and remained a consistent uh, thing throughout the whole year. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, we're a team that's been that kind of prided ourselves at the beginning of the season as uh, being, um, you know, very deep with our with our roster, and you know, each injury has uh, you know taken a toll on how our depth has been, um, you know, affecting our play. So, um, but he's been consistent all year. Kareem penned an essay recently. Say that again. Kareem uh, Bill Jabbar penned an essay recently in support of you. Uh, have you gotten to know him on a personal level at all now that you've been like here? I have not. Just a segue to, he is the all-time leading scorer. Yeah. Where you stand now, if you move into four, how realistic is that? I have, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Um, obviously, you know, my body holding up is the most important thing, and how I continue to play the game at a high level is what's most important to me. And if these accomplishments happen along that way, then, then so be it. But, you know, obviously, I didn't come into the league saying I want to be the all-time leader in points. Um, you know, obviously, I didn't feel like I would even be in my 16th year still playing the game. I didn't. I was just so excited to be drafted and, and to be able to put Akron on the map where I come from, and so many kids just giving them hope that like they can really make it out, being in the you know the situations they're in, and and along the way, I've been able to accomplish some some pretty cool things that I can can always look back on when I'm done playing and my kids can look back and say that their dad was cool at one point in time and their kids can say their granddad was cool at one point in time. So whatever compliments happen along the way, then um, it's a pretty cool thing. But, you know, I mean, you know me, Dave. I, I've never been one to kind of, you know, pinpoint, okay, I want to try to get that. It's, it kind of just happens. Ben, at times when you're asked about sort of the struggles that the team has had mm -hmm. as a whole, you've talked about the lack of experience and how you guys knew that as a young team going in. What are, what are the things that you see happening that you would attribute to having a young team? What would I attribute to us having a young team? What do you mean? Yeah, like what, when you say that, what are you what are you thinking about? Like experience. What? We have we have a lot of guys that haven't experienced much, um, and I think the best teacher in life is experience. So. Um, and you can only learn um, as as you go, uh, you know, about things and how you can, how you tackle that, how you engage in that. Um, you know, for me, I, my first two years in, in the NBA, I didn't make the playoffs. You know, I was still trying to figure out how how do you how do you play 
championship, I guess, or, or just like how do you play sense of urgency basketball every single game, you know? And, and um, that's something I was figuring out on my own as well. Um, I wasn't fortunate enough to have a lot of vets that had, you know, had experience. So I kind of had to learn on my own. But you know, I mean, when you, we have four guys in our top eight rotation that we have to really rely on. And it's, and it's unfair to them to, to, to ask for so much when they're in their second and third year. I mean, we have Zoe, Josh, Kuz, and B.I. And we had Zoo uh, at the time. That's like five out of our top nine guys that we rely on, and they're in their first and second year. You can't, you can't find one other team in our, in our league right now that has to rely on, on that much um, every single night from their young guys. That's in their first and second year. And it's unfair to those guys for us to continue to, uh, you know, we want them to learn, we want them to learn, we want them to learn, I want them to learn, uh, but also I have to understand that they're young as well and they're gonna have mistakes and they're gonna make mistakes. You just try to limit the mistakes as much as possible, but you can't, if you look at all the, the 16 teams right now or the best teams in our league right now, just, just look at the guys that they rely on every single night to be able to come through for them. And if they have a young guy, at least, it's probably one or two of them, you know, and so it's been it's just been tough on us. It's been tough on us.